to my channel. Today's Thursday, December 23rd, 2021, and it just turned 8.01. I just got back from an Afghan restaurant uh, in Cambridge, Mass, Helmand. I guess it's named after one of the largest rivers in Afghanistan. And I picked up a number of items. I already plated some on these display or little serving dishes. That's uh, broiled or baked eggplant on yolk with yogurt. Uh, I got a couple of raviolis here. Afghanistan or Afghan raviolis. Um, the entree I got. I don't know how to pronounce these. The entree is Q-A-B-E-L-E-E. -E. It's on payload rice, baked lamb tenderloin chunks with raisins, glazed julian carrots. I got um, the raviolis called um, a S H A K and it's ravioli with leeks, scallions on yogurt and mint with a brown beef sauce and then ban banjan something like that B A N J A N pan fried eggplant okay that's the eggplant with spices baked tomato on yogurt and garlic. The man to M-A-N-T-W-O homemade pastry shells with onions, beef served on yogurt topped with carrots, yellow split peas in a beef sauce. That's this one here. smells of spices. Um, I think in Indian restaurant they use cardamom too, right? There's a lot of cardamom in this, but let me show you oh, what I picked up. Three, three desserts is the entree, the main course. once with like the standard mint jelly you know something really standard so yes paleo rice I never think I've ever had that paleo rice with raisins some of these plates. Get one of these raviolis here. Or two types. 
types of raviolis as one. some of this aside so I make some room. All right, this is what I have on the plate. I've got the lamb tenderloin with the paleo rice and raisins and julienne glazed carrots. I've got the eggplant and then the two different raviolis here and the bread. three sauces. One's probably a yogurt, then one's green, and then this looks like, well, they, these, this could be sweet or hot. This is probably hot. I'll find out. All right, I'm going to dig in. I've got my Christmas trees out. i going to dig into this lamb. just fell right apart. That's that's so tender. I can't even keep it on the fork. Wow, that's that tastes like beef. That's the tenderest the tenderest. It's like you put it in a slow cooker. is nice and it has the cardamom is that the that's the flavor I guess of cardamom it's a little bit sweet because it has the sweetness of the glazed julienne carrots like if you had um, Sicilian pizza but you didn't have the sauces on top so it's that dense but it's 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 airy it's dense but it's almost it's thicker than you know uh, pita bread
piece of those uh, It's not really a, a pastry shell, it's pasta. Roasted, but roasted eggplant is so delicious. I forgot about the sauces. I forget the name of that now. The other, the other alternative to salsa. That's all. It's it's not that hot, but it's vinegary. That's delicious too. Wow, I like the sauces. Yeah, the red is definitely hot, spicy. I love this rice. Oh man, I wish I had more eggplant. I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna get like um, an eggplant dip. I don't think you're supposed to eat the skin of eggplant. Oh, you know what? This is so tender. I think I'm going to go ahead and eat that.
delicious. I can't believe how tender this meat is. It's just falling apart. they put on gyros. myself I got I got lost for like 10 minutes I was a little worried I looked on Google Maps I knew exactly where it was but this you know you go in one week or you, you know you go in months later and the blocks are completely different everything there's all this new construction going on Right, too. 
Mexican sauce. I can't remember the name of that. It's like a salsa. That's what this green is sort of like. out of this. wasn't any, uh, they served wine there. There wasn't really any, I didn't see any, like, traditional drink. Can you see me? I could do a video just on the desserts, I guess. So they had, they had some desserts, like they had a homemade cake. Like a pineapple cake, I think. But I got they have a version of baklava, but they spelt it with a W, not a V, W-A. At least that's what's online. And then they had two puddings, rice puddings. So I like rice pudding. And then, so one of them is, has pistachios on top. So that's a pudding with pistachio. Based. There's no way to put this one here. So I'll take some of this. It's like a very cottage. 
it's cheese or Tastes like baklava, but there's some <clears throat> there's some added spice like cinnamon or um, cardamom maybe is on this too. I don't think it's as sweet as what I get um, at the local sub shop or what I've made. This is cold.
rice is cooked perfectly. It's not much, it has a little bit of texture. the consistency of a, of a custard. It's not very sweet. It's just, just sweet enough. I really like this. I'm going to have to learn how to make this. This is delicious. Pudding with cardamom and pistachio 
and then the Ferenry, Ferenny, F-E-E-R-E-N-E-Y, cream pudding topped with kiwis, pineapple, blueberries, strawberries, and a baklava. Yeah, I'm going to have a nice meal tomorrow. I'll resist finishing the, uh, the two desserts I have left over. I wish I had more eggplant. The eggplant was delicious. And I have those sauces and the bread. You might have another piece of bread. So thanks everyone for stopping by. That was delicious. Afghan food. Afghan dishes. So thanks for stopping by. Helping support the channel. And uh, thanks to all my PayPal contributors. Thanks for using the Amazon affiliate link in the description. And if you're in this area, try out this restaurant. The, uh, there were, you can't sit and eat, and eat in the restaurant. a day what the parking situation is. There might be a parking garage nearby. I don't know. But I found a parking on another main street. So yeah. Check it out if, you, if you're in the area. And you've never tried Afghan food before. It's delicious. Uh, so thanks again everyone for your continued support and your comments. And until next video, thanks for watching everyone. Bye. See you next video.